Continuing coverage tonight, the victims of a deadly explosion in a Southeast Lake neighborhood have been identified. 49-year-old Boris Bush Reynolds was pronounced dead on the scene, and 53-year-old Larry Bush is in the hospital in critical condition. CBS 42's Malik Rankin has a closer look at the extent of the damage. David Thompson spent his evening boarding up the windows of his sister's home. His brother-in-law is in critical condition at the hospital. Right now, it's 95% uh, of his body is, has been burned. And we just, just really trying to hold my sister together right now. Larry Bush and Boris Bush Reynolds were casualties of the explosion. But the question remains, how did it happen? Witnesses on the scene have reported that the gentlemen were working on oxygen cylinders prior to the explosion. Investigators are still working to find a clear answer. Thompson says neither of the men's jobs involved oxygen tanks. Uh, not damn my knowledge. I know my brother-in-law, he worked on like uh, buffing machines, floor machines and stuff like that. But as far as the other thing, I do not know. So that's what everybody trying to figure out what's going on. So. Battalion Chief Carrillo says the incident has been ruled accidental. Thompson and his family ask you keep them in your prayers as they get through this difficult time. I'm thinking about the two little girls, you know, I'm thinking about a place of living for them, you know, because there ain't no condition right now.